Hi, this is Baron from Ragic. Today I will show you how easy it is to create a Ragic database application from scratch. You'll be building your flexible cloud database apps that fits your business perfectly in no time. For this tutorial, I will create a simple product database for retail. Let's start by creating a new tab. You don't have to do this every single time you want to create a new sheet, but since we don't have any database apps right now, I'll just go ahead and add one. I'm naming this new tab Sales and add a new sheet under this called Products. This takes me to the design mode of my new form page. In our previous tutorial, I mentioned that the fields in our form page is the detailed version of our entries. So now we are going to add the fields for this detailed information. My first field is going to be the product ID, since it's a good practice to have an identifying fields for entries in a database. When I start typing the field name, Ragic will create the field header on the space where the field value will be entered. I'm pressing enter to create a new field on the next row, and I'll name this one product name. Now I'll also add a product category field and a product subcategory field so that it'll be easier to filter. Lastly, I'm adding a price field. Okay, let's save the design first. Now that I have all my fields, I'm just going to adjust the width of the columns so that our database forms looks better. There are many field types in the design mode that you can choose from. For the product ID field, I'm choosing auto generate. This will automatically generate a string according to the formatting I choose over here. I'm leaving the product name field as a free text so that whatever I write there as a field value when I'm filling this form will be as is. Now we can change the product category field to a selection field, where I'll add a few categories for our products. Now to add subcategories under the categories I have just written in, I'm going to make this field a cascaded selection field. As you can see, I can now add options under the separate categories. Lastly, I'm changing the price to money. Now we can save and test filling out our form. Let's add a new entry. Now let's review how our entries look like in the listing page. Some columns are a little bit narrow, so let's arrange the width of the field in the design mode just like we did before. And now it looks great. You just learned how to design a basic database application. Now try it yourself. In our next tutorial, I will show how to create a subtable on your form design. Thank you for watching and check out our other videos to learn more about Ragic. You can always write to support at ragic.com if you run into any problems while building your database applications.